Hi, my name is Elise, and you're listening to Chatterbox Island English podcast. Hello, and welcome back to Chatterbox Island English podcast. I'm your host Elise. As always, we're gonna chat about different topics in English on this podcast. So, in the last episode, we talked about how speaking different languages can change your personality, and I personally think it's a very interesting episode. So, make sure to check that out if you haven't already, and maybe leave your thoughts in the YouTube comment section or Apple Podcasts review section. And if you want to listen to any previous episodes of this podcast, you can click on any platform that you're listening to right now. And for today's episode, we're gonna talk about something that is also kind of psychology related, which is the mentality of FOMO and JOMO. And by now, maybe most of you have already heard the term. FOMO. But for those of you that don't know, FOMO is the short term for fear of missing out, and it happens a lot more frequently than many of us might have expected. So let's say one of your friends is throwing a party, but for some reason you don't really want to go. Maybe you just wanna stay at home and. Binge watch Netflix, and by the way, we made a whole episode about Netflix series that Claire, our previous host, and I enjoy. So if you are looking for a good show, you can go check out that episode. But、um, back to the topic: the fear of missing out on the party with your friends makes you end up attending the party. So. You don't actually want to go to the party, but it's the fear of being isolated and alone, and possibly missing out the fun that makes you go to the party. And with social media being so popular and people posting all the fun and glamorous moments of their lives on the platform, such as Instagram or Facebook or just any other social media platforms. It's much easier to feel FOMO because even when you're not there at the party or the event, you can still constantly see your friends posting and having fun, and you might feel being left out. And it's a kind of social pressure to be relevant and fit in all different kinds of social groups in our lives. Such as、um, friends, family, or even coworkers, and FOMO is even implemented in sales and marketing tactics. So you might have already seen companies coming out with products that are、um, limited editions or with limited sales that will be gone forever once you miss out on them. And of course, the Eleven Eleven shopping holiday that is coming up. And the Black Friday sales or the Cyber Monday sales in the United States are one of them as well. And while it might be a good time to, you know, get something that you already know you need for a discounted price during that time, it also triggers you to buy more things that you don't need, and you just buy them because they are on sale for this certain period of time. Okay, so now that we've understood the cause and effect of FOMO, what exactly is JOMO? So JOMO is the abbreviation for joy of missing out. So basically, it's the opposite of FOMO, and I would say probably a healthier mentality as well. Jomo allows you to、um, slow down and just enjoy what you have, whether it's、um, time or the things that you own. And it actually takes effort to practice Jomo. But here are some tips, or I would say、um, exercise that、um, we can all practice together. So the first one is be attentional with your time. So basically,、um, you have to schedule things that are important to you. In other words, make your time your priority. A lot of people, including me as well, 
don't realize that time is also a valuable asset, and you have to decide how to spend it or who or what you're spending it on, and make sure that you make the most use out of it. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, go out and enjoy all the fun things, but you have to spend time on something that you actually enjoy or someone who is actually important to you. And the second one is, give yourself permission to live in the present. If you have a bad day and you just want to lie in bed and watch Netflix, go ahead. If you have a great day and you want to meet up with an old friend, go ahead as well. The point is to enjoy the moment instead of constantly comparing your life with others or、um, wishing that you were somewhere else or doing something else. And the third one is embrace tech-free time and experience the real life. So as I mentioned before, social media has greatly influenced our lives, and seeing what other people are doing at the moment becomes the new norm or even a habit for some people. So maybe it's good to put down your phone and spend your time without constantly knowing what others are doing. And the last one is practice saying no. I know it's hard sometimes. I feel that way too. But maybe someone invites you to a party that you are not really interested in. Just practice saying no and spend your time doing something else that you actually enjoy a lot. Not just party, but any kind of social events or any form of activity. You don't always have to go to every party or attend every event just for the sake of it or for the possibility of having fun. When you can spend your time doing something that you know or you are certain that you will have fun with. Now, I would say that I was definitely heavily influenced by FOMO when I first started college. As a freshman, or even up to sophomore year, because it's a whole new environment, and everyone is getting to know each other and forming their own groups of friends. So, I feel like if I didn't attend certain、um, group events or social events, I would end up having no friends. So, even when I didn't actually want to go. I would still force myself and make friends on the party or during the event, if that makes sense. And surprise, turns out I didn't actually make any real friends from there. Well, not to say that I made fake friends or anything. I'm just saying that the friends that I actually end up hanging out with. Even after the events or even after the parties, are not those friends that I met on the party. So when I was、uh, in junior year, I started to focus on the things that I enjoy doing, and I'm not saying that I didn't go out. With friends or make new friends at all, I just realized that it is more difficult for me to make friends from a random social event. But I could actually make friends who share the same interest as I do from just doing what I enjoy. Of course, I'm not saying that it's impossible to make real friends from those kinds of events or parties. I think it really depends. If you are a really sociable person and you enjoy being around with people that are also really sociable, maybe you will enjoy those parties and events, and you won't feel like you are obligated to attend those parties. But I'm just saying that if you are someone who is entering a new environment, you don't always have to be there to make friends. 
I think real human connections are really delicate or sometimes magical. You don't know when or who you'll end up enjoying spending time with. So basically, my point is. You don't have to feel like you've missed out on something when, in reality, you're not actually interested in the first place. So, what about you? Have you experienced FOMO, or maybe you're someone who enjoys JOMO right from the start? I still get FOMO sometimes, but I'm way better at dealing with it now than I was before. Let me know your thoughts down in the YouTube comment section, and I will read through them and maybe share some of your thoughts in the next episode. And so that's all for today's Chatterbox Island English podcast. If you enjoy this episode, you can subscribe to our show on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, KKBox, and SoundOut. Yes, that's a long list. I'm running out of breath. And you can also find our shows on YouTube and go on our website. That's www.eisland.com.tw for more information. I'm your host Elise, and I'll talk to you soon in the next episode. Bye.